All right, we need to fix the flying machine, and hopefully the kids can help us with that somehow. Do you know where I could find some gears? Gears? What's that? It's like a metal circle thing with teeth. A circle with teeth? <laughs> that sounds so silly. Like something Magpie would have. Oh yeah, the trader guy. He collects all kinds of funny stuff. He even keeps around broken glass and junk. Oh yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. He's such a weirdo. Excuse you. Excuse me. You are in the way. Yes. Don't get your tail on the keyboard. Hey, do you know where I can find a battery? Good question. We don't really have electricity in the Glen. Ah. But there are robots at the research station. Oh yeah, there's that thing! If there's a battery anyway, they know where it is. Gotcha, thanks. Okay, we, we avoided worst case situation, which is also the shadows coming from the from the left for some reason. Wait, but how do I get there? Hmm. Parky, would you calm yourself? Sit down. Well, we know where to go, but we don't know. Hey, where? Oops. Tell me where the battery is. Are? Oh, you stuck. Yeah, that's the way to the market thing. I can't freaking go there. This way is probably still blocked. Yeah, that just led that to the to the entity, so it doesn't really matter. But how do I how do I get anywhere? Oh, they're partially flooded. Maybe Maze grew some vines to grab the bridge together? Uh, maybe not. Um, hum. Got any ideas, my friend? Eh, didn't think so. Um, How do I get anywhere now? Yeah, that's where I was before. There's nowhere to get around here. What do I do? I was thinking maybe like a new path would be like deleted in. No. We must have been meant to stay back there, I guess. But if that's the case, why were we allowed to go back? Another boat we could use or something? Uh, very fast boat for completely being unpowered. Um, somebody's gotta help us find the freaking things here. I forgot what parts we need. Find the parts I need. Blah blah blah. B -b 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 where do I go? It's a fire. Oh, I could have fast traveled here. That would have been nice. But maybe I need to talk to Maze. I don't. 
don't see any other ways to go. thing was like intentional or like because that's weird because it's like I should have had plenty of time though I guess this is a pretty big update so I'm I'm less sure there wasn't just like some issue but then again that the content that was in that would have taken some time to make too so it would be weird for a week oh yeah this is what we do yeah um frick what was I saying Oh yeah, but the content it would have taken, like, to make there, like, that wouldn't have been completely free either. Because, I mean, you got playable Rue action going on. So, I don't know. Um, I, uh, have something to ask of you. Yes? It looks like most of the bridges around the Glen are broken, and that's right, the bridges, you need to cross them on your pilgrimage. Would you like me to fix them? Yeah. Is that possible? Difficult. Bridges are in very specific locations over water. Need to find the right points. Vines must be very strong, too. An undertaking. Ah. Uh, but possible. I intend to use the last of my strength. Please stand back. What happened? Are you okay? Are you? But the seed... Robots down here should have. Oh. There you go. Robots down here should have the uh, thing. Some vines just grew around this bridge, almost as if intentional repair effort. Yeah. Would oh, you happen to know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? What is a flying machine? Never mind. Who's got batteries? I could find a battery. I have a battery integrated device system. It cannot be used to power other things. Ah. Hello, person. The research station is currently experiencing technical difficulties. I can tell. Even the bridge on the way here was... Were you sent here by Dr. Silverpoint? No? Oh, carry on then. By the way, do you know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? I do not. Alright. If you check the power room? We're just gonna steal their battery, aren't we? Anomalies are increasing. Yeah, no kidding. Hello, person. This is the main generator of the Glen. Would you happen to know where I could find a battery for a flying machine? It's kind of an emergency. I don't know, I don't know what a flying machine is, but any sort of large machinery require a high capacity power cell. For example, the generator in this room uses such a device. We had to fix the battery for the thing in the Barrens, didn't we? This is an emergency for living beings? You can take the battery from the generator. Oh, wait. But if I take the battery here, all of you guys would lose power, wouldn't you? Maybe tap to have it and I should find another one. Negative. This is the only battery in the Glen powerful enough to, to be used as a standalone unit. If it is a dire situation, then do what you must. Alright. I guess we have no choice but to take this tap tap. Now 
I need the gear. Guess we gotta go the long way back to town. Oh, hello. The bridge of the forest was just restored. The village evacuees should be able to make, f should be able to find better fishing spots here. The plant spirit is really looking out for us, isn't she? Yeah. The land fragmentation is happening faster and faster now, but it looks like the vines are slowing it down. My mommy's making food for everyone. I want to help her catch fish, but I'm not a grown-up yet. Same. This island is more moss covering, covering than our village did. It would have been nice to build a settlement here. Too late now, I guess. Oh, is it? You're the trader guy. Sure am. You here to trade? Because if you are, I got bad news for you. A lot of my stuff is back at my cart, which was sadly abandoned when I was running for my life. So my collection is very limited right now. Managed to grab some of my favorite things before I left, though. Oh, uh, do you have anything like gears? Gears? Like metal spinny things? I don't think I have anything like that. Wait. I do have this box you can wind up and play a song. That's a music box. Yeah. But there's lots of little, met little bits in there. Oh, that might work. I'm not sure if I want to trade it away. It's one of my favorite things. Oh, but what am I saying? You're the savior. Things have been a little bad around here lately. If I don't help you, you might not be around much longer. You need this to save the world, right? Take it. Oh, thank you. It's a blanket covered in shiny things. So kind of sad I love my stuff. <sighs> we won't last long now, will we? The sun can't fix the squares. The sun can't restore the land. What a day. <laughs> it's still good. Hmm, nothing's biting. Is he gonna be okay? What's up? Are you okay? I wanna go back home! Understood. It's a bed. Looks like the glen is deteriorating faster than ever now. Oh, hello, Messiah. Would you like some stew? Made enough to feed a whole village. Literally. It's okay, thanks. Fish stew. At least I think it's fish. They look kind of like snakes. Ah, delicious snake fish. There are water snakes. They're pretty cool. The vines are everywhere. The plant lady must be protecting us. Yeah. Our village was ransacked by the squares not long ago. Most of us made this out, made it out alive, but can't really go back anymore. Oh, squares are bad news, man. up music box. Can I like pry it apart? No. I just noticed I kept all this junk. Don't think I'll really need that, but Well uh can I fast travel to the graveyard? Wait, he's got like a gold thing. I bet him, Rue, and Prophet Bot are the three. Oh, this guy! Oh, this is the guy I saw in the vision. He's. Not, it wasn't Nico. All right. So, here's music box. Found a music box. It should have gears in it, right? I assume so, but it's like one of those ones my father made. Your dad makes music boxes too? My dad makes a lot of things. Where'd you get this from, by the way? A trader from the village gave it to me. I see. I remember father saying that he used to trade with some of the people here. He always did love traveling this world despite, well, ah, sorry, I started rambling. The gears in this are compatible with the engine, although it pains me to have to take it apart. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I still need a battery to get this engine running. Please do what you must to find one. 
that same exact wording. Do what you must. We found a battery. Oh, nice. I honestly wasn't expecting it. It's from the generator on one of the islands. The research station? Yeah. It's powering all the robots there. I felt bad for taking it. Ah. We can always just give it back later. Alright. Looks like the flying machine has a chance after all. I should have to assemble the pieces now, but it might take a while. Yeah, this seems like a safe place to take, you know, take off from. Would you mind keeping me company? How's it going? Slow. Connectors in the battery are not designed for this type of engine, so I have to shift around for some of these ports. It's this bolt that keeps getting stuck, and ah. Uh, don't worry, I'm making decent progress. We should be able to make it to the city by tonight, if you say so. What will happen once we get there? We need to bring Proto back first. And we need to find one more person. You may have already met her, actually. Do you remember her from the last time you were in this world? How do you know that? I... What does she look like? This is going to sound strange, but she's a fox. Oh, yes she is. Oh. I do remember talking to a fox at some point. You've met Rue? Members are still really blurry, though. I see. Sigh. It's just hard, you know? Proto told me to think of this world like a dream, but then I got caught, so caught up with that I just kind of forget. Forget that everything here is supposed to be not real. Then I remember. Then I just get really sad. I know this is for me to go home, but knowing that none of that mattered in the first place, am I just trapped here for no reason? Proto also told me to not ask anyone in the world about this, saying how they don't understand, but what about him? How did he know? How do you know? Are you all supposed to be code? Well, I'm not sure what to even believe anymore. I wish Rue was here. She's so much better at explaining this sort of thing. I'm doing a terrible job of it. I bet Proto was even less tactful, wasn't he? <laughs> I'm afraid I must risk sounding callous, but please, you do not need to concern yourself with how real everything is for now. The plan is already in motions. Cannot allow for distractions. Father is putting everything into this one last run of the world. Ah, oh, so he is he's the son of the author then. Last chance for him to fix everything. Your father is involved in the world machine? You could say that. Acceleration of square particle anomalies was not accounted for though. The patch was only built to accommodate the normal rate they appear, but they're accumulating at frightening speeds now. Proto even lost his body. Thankfully, he gave you the disc just in time. So, what happened to him anyway? What happens to anyone that gets caught in squares? I only know it's bad. Well, you know how the simulation works, right? How everything is code? Specifically, everything is generated from pre existing code. The squares can cause damage to that code. Most of the time, irreversible damage. The father has lost some friends in previous iterations of the simulation. It took him forever to develop the current, much more stable version. You're making it sound like your dad built the simulation himself. Wait, did he? Yeah, but how? If ever in the world is code, how can he build himself? That's, uh, not really what happened. So what did happen? Like I said, you shouldn't concern yourself with- I can't not concern myself with it, bro. With- Alright, alright. Did Prototype ever tell you about the old world? Music cut out. I don't like this. He did say something about to be built to greet the Messiah of the old world. I was uh, too caught up with the other stuff at the time to think about it. Uh, you know of it, at least then. Alright, here we go. My father himself. Myself, the other two. None of us are part of the simulation itself. Our home world, the real world. That's why they have yellow like I do. Because they're from somewhere else. Our home world, the real world, was actually destroyed a long time ago. In the years leading up to the calamity, scientists from all over the world tried to stop it, but the output was bleak. Outlook was bleak. A vague prophecy about a messiah from another world became everyone's last bastion of hope. Prophet bot, or prototype, was built to predict the future. About the specifics of this messiah. But as, but as his predictions turned out, the messiah 
would not have been able to arrive in our world in time. In fact, Messiah would not even be born before our world ended. Disheartened, most people abandoned their research and resolved to peacefully live out their final years. But some people did the opposite. Even though saving the world was impossible, they didn't want our existence to be in vain. And that's where my father came in. The last of his resources, he built his most ambitious project yet, the World Machine. A large, dedicated facsimile of the old world generated from the pool of memories collected from everyone he knew. After a heavily, heavy amount of modification and added narrative, my father was able to convert the entire structure into code. How did that code escape the old world? I have no idea. What I do know is there's no equipment back home that's powerful enough to run the code independently. So aside from standard hardware, I also need to borrow the mental processing from a living person. Father used himself for that, during the initial testing phases. Like I said, it took many iterations for him to make the experience stable enough. But as you can see, even that's breaking down. Ah. Uh, Father caught onto the issue in the last minute, but he did not have enough time to fix it. After the world ended, the code just kind of ended up floating in the void, indefinitely. Waiting for a willing operator to install it into their own hardware. Tap tap? Yeah. The operator, tap tap, would then generate the universe using the code, becoming God in the process. So tap tap was the living person you needed to borrow? No? That would be you. But why me? Should have asked that question a long time ago, shouldn't I? I do not know. We really need to get going. It's fixed. We can leave in the next five minutes if you're ready. All right. I understand, understand if you're upset, but please, try to understand. My father's doing this to help all of us. And that includes you, Nico. In fact, you can't even go back home. I'm sure it upsets him greatly. It's... Sigh. The world means a lot to him, you know. So, how does flying work? Wait, don't these machines already exist in your world? You should really know what to expect. Not really. I've only heard about them. They're usually a lot bigger than this one, anyway. Ah, uh, well. Word of precaution before we take to the air. Please try not to panic. It takes a few minutes of getting used to, but it's not that bad once you're in the air. I'll try. Oh, maybe we should tell Kalmus and Alula where I'm going. You mean those two running over here now? Nico! Bad news. The boat is gone. What? It's the squares! Looks like they're headed in this direction. That's fast. Calamus, right? Yeah. How bad is it? Doesn't seem to be of immediate danger. Then it is a priority that I take you to the city first, Nico. What about them? I could take a detour later and drop you guys off in the city too if you want. The city's better equipped to handle the squares. You'll be safer there. You're taking us to the city! If you wish. Oh yeah! Alright. I'll be back here in an hour, so please wait for me until then. You guys sure you'll be fine here? Mm-hmm. Squares are still moving pretty slowly for now. <sighs> Alright then. I guess we'll run into each other soon. I'm ready to go. Alright. I guess if they have buildings like that, it makes sense they can build planes. Phew, made it. Well, a little less depressing than I was fearing. You okay there? <laughs> that was the coolest thing I've ever done in my entire life. I almost turned into Greg there. <laughs> Reactions for first timers are always delightful to watch. Nah. Hey, Tap Tap, that was really fun. Did you have fun too? I mean, you weren't on the plane with me, but you gotta watch it at least, right? And Cedric? Yeah? Thanks. What for? Flying! Oh, um, you're welcome? And for answering my questions back there, too. And for telling me about the world machine. I'm just really sorry about what happened to your old world, though. And your current one. So, 
I'll help you the best that I can. And even if it's all just a machine, this world is still nice. I mean, I got to fly. I got to see the ocean. And I got to meet a bunch of nice people. People like you and Prototype, even if he's broken right now. I'm glad you're taking it well, so well, Nico. And I'm glad we have it. We have met as well, despite the circumstances. Speaking of Proto, I should probably head off now. Need to go pick up the siblings, too. That's true. Still been waiting for a while now. In the meantime, do you remember what to do to get to the surface? Remember having to fix an elevator button. All right, you should attend to that then. It's been up here in an hour, okay? Got it? All right, let me just, oh no. They're trapped on the island. Calamus, Alula, there. We don't have much time left. Nico, change of plans. Please give me the memory disc. All right, listen carefully. It's likely I'll be targeted again, so we should split up to keep you safe. I want you to find a door under a large clock. The room behind it has a pair of ground access elevators. Once you get to the ground, immediately find Rue and bring her back to the room. She will know what to do in the meantime. Alright, what about you, though? I'm gonna bring Prototype back. Whoa. What? Are you okay? What? Are you okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. Don't scare me like that. <sighs> hey, Tap Tap. Let's do our best. Well, next time on One Shot, we'll go through the refuge.